Hi, this is Francis from A Plus Tutoring. In this session, I'm going to show you how to find the volume using integrals. Right, so from my notes here, summary for calculus two, volume you can have different methods to solve for to find the in, to find the volume using different methods like the disk method, the washer method, the shell method, or even a cross section area. Okay, so in this case, which method should I be using? So you need to analyze that, right? Find the volume of the solid formed by revolving the region bounded by the graph of y equal to square root of x and y equal to x square about the x-axis. So what does it mean? So if you draw a picture, square root of x is basically like this. x square is basically like this. So the area between them is right here, right? And then it's revolving about the x-axis. So I'm actually turning here. So this becomes a volume, right? So that, that will be the other part that is turning right here. Okay, so I have both function. So I want to find the intersecting point because I need to figure out what is this point and what is this point. Well, this point is obvious, it's zero, but I can still find that. So I have this as square root of x equals to x squared. This is to solve for the intersecting point, right? So I have x equals to x to the four. So x to the four minus x equals to zero. So if I factorize that, so I factor out the x and I have x cubed minus one equals to zero. So each factor make it equal to zero. I get the following, x equal to zero and x equals to minus one. Oops, sorry, it's plus one. So this is plus one <clears throat> because it's x cubed minus one. So x cubed equals to one and cubic root of one, which is one. Okay, so let me just Make sure you understand that. So, so, and then I cubic root on both sides. So this is becoming x equals to one. Now that I have my two intersecting points, I want to know which function is on top, which function is at the bottom. Well, I know that from zero to one, that my square root function is on top and my quadratic function is at the bottom. Now, if you don't draw a graph, you can still figure that out by plugging in one half, let's say in between zero to one is one half. Put one half, so let x equal to 0 0.5, then your y1 and y2, it will be different. So let's say y1 equals to square root of 0 0.5 and y2 equals to 0 0.5 squared. Now, both of them, you will see that y1 is going to be bigger than y2. Okay, so now that I have the top function, I have the bottom function, I need to set up the integral now. Volume is equal to, now according to this washer method, right? Why am I choosing washer method? Because I have two function is away from the axis of revolution. Okay, this method has to be stick to the axis of revolution. Now your rectangle is vertical. So that I'm in integrating from A to B. Now I'm not choosing the shell method because I don't want to draw my rectangle to be horizontal. Okay, so you can, you can still use the shell method, but then you have to integrate in terms of Y. Now in this case, I just want to integrate in terms of X. And this is my equation. Now what is r of x and small r of x? So if you come back here, I can actually put down big r is basically the top function. So square root of x, small r is the bottom function, square uh, x square. So if you apply into the function pi from a to b, the big radius square minus the small radius square, this whole thing 
dx. Okay, what is a to b? a to b is from 0 to 1, right? According to this formula here, right? I can, I, I need to subtract the axis of revolution, which is 0 here, right? For my case, I'm turning it on the x-axis. That's why it's 0. So that's why here is subtracting 0. Okay, so you don't really need to write that. Now, replacing this 0 to 1, I have a square root of x square minus x square square, this whole thing dx. So this is basically equals to pi integral 0 to 1 x minus x to the 4 dx. Now the integral is becoming pi x square over 2 minus x fifth over 5. I would just use this as 0 to 1. So there's no plus c because it's a definite integral. Now if you plug in 0, it will be all 0. If you plug in 1 now, this is equals to 1 half minus 1 fifth times pi. Right? If you simplify this, this is going to give you 3 pi over 10. And this is basically my answer for this question. Now, if you have more questions on the volume related to these nodes, please visit my website, goforaplus.com.